Welcome back everybody for episode two of my series of how to become a senior software engineer. In this episode, I'm gonna to talk to you about SMART goals. What are they and how do we apply it to a goal such as learn the React library? So what is a SMART goal? The acronym loosely stands for specific, measurable, obtainable, relevant, and time. So let's break down each part into more detail. Specific means your goal should be clear and well defined. What this means is that instead of saying a very loosely goal like, my 2020 goal is to learn the React library, which is a very, very broad goal, change it into something more like, I will learn to use the React library in 2020 with my fantasy football demo API app that I created. Measurable means that you must have a way to show progress of your goal and be represented by some form of a value. For our goal of learning the React library with our fantasy football API, I would measure my progress by stating, I'm going to watch over 30 hours of Pluralsight content and read at least two technical books on React cover to cover. Attainable is the key piece that can make or break our goal. You want your goal to push you to raise the bar. This means that we do not want our goal to be obtainable without some sort of change in our day-to-day -day routine. Otherwise, we aren't really achieving our goals. We're just achieving normalcy. Relevancy should come easy. Your goals should align with your career path and where you want to go. It wouldn't really make a lot of sense that if your goal is to become a software architect, that your 2020 goal is to earn your PMP certification. Time is of the essence. There must be a deadline to your goal. But if you set a limit on your goal too short, you're gonna risk immediate disappointment by not reaching it. On the other side, if you set your time limit too far out into the future, you might find yourself procrastinating. And then as the time gets closer, you're actually where you would have been if you would have set the time too short and out of time. Now that we understand what a SMART goal is, let's go through each step and create one. So last year I set out to learn the React library and write a front end web application to put on top of my fantasy football API. Now I had never used the React library before, nor have I ever written a front end web application. So I knew that I needed a very good structured roadmap in place to achieve this goal. The specifics around my goal was that my web application had to use the React library. Now, the API that I was sitting on top of was a fantasy football lineup picker. So I knew that I must have the ability to view all of my available players, select players, save my roster, along with editing any saved roster. All of this functionality was already built into the API. So I knew that I need this functionality built into my web application. I measured my progress of learning the React library by watching and viewing Pluralsight's React Path. I then also chose two technical books that I read cover to cover and worked through their examples. This gave me a metric to show the amount of time I had spent on ingesting content. While the goal seemed awfully ambitious, I knew I set the right amount of requirements for this goal. If I had only set my goal to require one page of viewing just a list of players or one view of only selecting players and not encompass viewing players, selecting players, saving players, viewing saved rosters, then I wouldn't have gained enough of the knowledge to be able to use the React library in an enterprise environment. And so I knew that I needed multiple views and navigation for this goal. I chose this goal because over the last six years of doing development work, I had only been exposed to backend web development, Java development, databases, file storage. So developing a single page web application was going to put me outside of my comfort zone. It was going to build my skill set to make me a more well-rounded developer. And so it became a very relevant goal for me. Your time limit for your goal is going to be the hardest decision you'll have to make, mostly because it's going to require more work 
outside of your normal day-to-day -day activities. I gave myself three months to reach my goal. Seems very short, or maybe some people think it seems too long. The way I came of this decision was, I figured it would take me about a month to watch all of the Pluralsight videos that I want to watch and read the two books and ingest all their content. Another month would be spent actually developing the application and working through any problems I had. And then two weeks to polish the app and reach out for you know some guidance from other developers on it and make any changes that might make it just a little bit better. And then two weeks for basically life's distractions. One last tip I will give you about setting SMART goals is that not only do you need to write them down, you need to actively track your progress of them. Something that I do, and this is just what I do generally on my team, is about every week or two, usually I try to do it at the end of our sprint, I actually write down in my notebook how I thought the sprint went. You know, what were some things I learned personally, what were some things I need to maybe stop doing. And in doing this, I also was writing down my progress towards my goals. If you have one-on-ones, bring up your goals with your manager or whoever you have your one-on-ones with. Have someone else know about your goals and give them an update on where you're at with your progress. This will kind of help you, you know, keep pace on your goals and really kind of give you more of that, you know, feeling that you have someone to deliver your goal to, not just yourself. So that about wraps up what SMART goals are and how I applied a SMART goal to wanting to learn the React library. So please, if you like the content, leave some comments below, hit the like button, and subscribe for more. Let me know what your thoughts were on SMART goals. How do you apply them in your own goals? And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. The specifics around my goal were that... Calm down. Your time limit on your goal can be one of the hardest things to forget how to speak into a camera. I set out one month to ingest all my content, watch all my videos, read my books. Bigs? Or read my bigs? Bigs? Jesus.